Hey Citizens, Black here from Castle Black Gaming and welcome. Today I wanted to offer up some basics on inventory because inventory in Star Citizen is not the one size fits all endless bag of tricks that is what is in most games. Inventory in Star Citizen is about as close to realism as I've ever seen any game get, at least those that I've played. Before we get into that though, if you like what you see here I hope you would consider subscribing and please don't forget to like and comment on this video as because my videos are so short I'm not exactly algorithm friendly. I'm also here to help with questions on my Discord and I stream now as well with my schedule on the screen now so come on by and ask those questions and let me know how I can help or let's just discuss all the exciting new changes that are coming to Star Citizen soon. Alright so inventory. Ever since The Legend of Zelda inventory has been unrealistic to say the least but that's not a knock against inventory systems, it's just been the nature of games. Chris Roberts said screw all that noise and wants an inventory system that requires planning and thinking ahead about what you will need and how it will get there. I'm going to start off with the four basic inventory types types. The first inventory type is your personal storage. It can be the smallest form of storage outside of a small storage box but more on that later. This is what you can carry on your body or on a piece of equipment equipped on you that has storage capacity such as a backpack or if your chest or leg armor has inventory slots. Keep in mind that there are weight limits to these inventory spaces so you can't simply put a large rifle in your pants pocket or a ship component in your backpack. Your backpack can hold items such as food, drinks, more ammo, and other things you might find in loot containers such as the smaller utility tool or utility components like the tractor beam attachment, medical attachment, and small pieces of ore or fauna you collect etc and some weapons. The chest armor can support things clipping onto them such as more ammo, med or oxygen pins or knives etc. Your personal inventory space also includes weapons and tools that are equipped so your back can hold large types of guns such as SMGs, rifles etc but depending on which armor type you have, light, medium or heavy, will depend on how many of those items you can hold. You can then have the utility tool, medical gun or a pistol on your hips. If you're out and about and kill an enemy and want to take their gun you must have room on your body to put their weapon or you'll need to drop something to make room for the item. There are other options to allow you to loot things but I will discuss those later in the video. The next inventory type is local inventory and this is probably the most important and also at the same time the most confusing for some new players to understand. Local storage is the storage at whatever place you have landed at such as in a city on a planet or on a space station above a planet or out in a Lagrange point such as Arc L1 or L2, etc. It can also be a mining outpost on a moon or planet. Consider it like your little rent a locker if you were to go to a train station or a Disney World. Only you don't have to pay upkeep per day, it's just like cloud storage and only accessible if you land on that planet station or outpost. Here's an example. When you create your character, you set up a home planet and city, right? So let's say you choose Art Corp Area 18 as your home planet. So you log into the game and you are at Area 18. Any ships you own or any subscriber flare such as cosmetic items or ship paints would already be on that planet's local inventory. Also any ships you own would also be considered in that city's inventory. So let's say you own the Aegis Gladius ship and you bought the Invictus blue and gold paint job for it. Both the ship and paint job are there with you so you can apply the paint job to your ship. Anything else you own you would have access to it while on the planet but now let's say you forgot that paint job on your ship and you left the planet and traveled up to a space station above like Art Corp's Bajini Point. You land, get out, put your ship up and want to apply that paint job. Well you can't because the paint job is still back on the planet and your ship is now stored at Bajini Point's station. You would need to go back down to the planet because that is where the paint scheme is located in local inventory. Now let's discuss another example of local inventory. It's where things you purchase at shops such as armor, weapons, ship components, or even drinks. When you purchase anything it goes directly into local storage unless you change that. So if you're on the planet Art Corp down in Area 18 again and you stop by the weapon shop and purchased a sniper rifle and a pistol with ammo. So for both of these you could hit F4 which shows your character and see that those items you just purchased are not on your person. This is because again any item you purchase goes directly into to the local inventory unless you change it. To access the local inventory just push I by default and you'll see your personal inventory in one window assuming you are wearing something that has inventory storage on you such as a backpack, leg, or chest armor. 
otherwise you'll only see one window. Another window should show your local inventory and that is where you will find the guns you purchase. You are then able to drag them onto your body in the little circles highlighted area that comes up when you drag items or you can just right click the item itself in the local inventory window and select equip and the item is able to equip it should and should go into place. You can also double click items. Now if you skip this step of equipping the item and leave the planet you will not have access to those weapons until you return to that planet and take the steps I just showed you. The same goes if you buy ship components at the planet or at a station. You could head up to the center mass store on area 18 to buy ship weapons. Once you purchase them they will appear in your local inventory and you'll need to go into the vehicle loadout manager to equip them. Otherwise if you leave the planet without equipping them you will not have access to them. Local inventory equals city, station, or moon outpost storage. Just wanted to make sure that is very clear. One more thing about local inventory is that it is the safest storage in the game but again more on that as we discuss the next type of storage which is ship storage. Now ship storage is just exactly what it sounds like. The storage available to you on your ship. An easy way to think of how ship storage work is to think of a ship storage as a moving truck. You put items on your moving truck to get them from your local hardware store and then you want to take them home. Now depending on the size of your ship will depend on the things you can carry on your ship. Ship storage is something you can only access while you are on the ship so it must be called out with you on it even if that just means being on it while it is in the hangar or on a landing pad. Also if you have like an elevator drop down on your ship being on the elevator actually counts as being on your ship. So let's say you own two ships. the Aurora MR and the Constellation Taurus. While you were flying the MR, earlier doing cargo missions, you looted a medical gun or a utility gun from a lootable storage box on one of the outposts that you visited. Now remember, when you looted that, it went directly into your local inventory at the outpost. Now when you got back on your ship, you can then open up your inventory for the ship by pressing I, and then you can move the item from the local storage of the outpost into your vehicle storage or on your person. Make sure you change the storage type at the top for from personal to vehicle to move the item onto the ship. Now you have the tool on your ship and when you leave the tool goes with you. You can then use that item anywhere else as needed. So you take off then land at the space station Bajini point and you leave the tool on your ship and store the ship. That tool remains with the ship in its inventory and you can use it later at any time when you call the ship out and are on the ship. That tool will not be available on any of the other ships so if you call out that Taurus the only items on the Taurus would be those that you have transferred to the Taurus from wherever local inventory you were at. If you wanted to transfer an item from one ship, like the Aurora, to the Taurus, you would need to call out the Aurora, go to it, be inside of it, pull up your inventory, transfer the tool to the station's inventory, leave the Aurora, go inside and store the Aurora, call out your Taurus, go inside of the Taurus on the landing pad, and move the tool from the local storage option and into the Taurus inventory. Now I know that sounds like a lot and this might seem tedious or like too many steps, but if you think ahead and plan accordingly, this will become easy and actually adds to the overall realism and gameplay that can come because of it. And I know you're thinking, you're like, so what does that mean, better gameplay because of it? So a quick scenario is, imagine you forgot to transfer better weapons to your ship before taking off to go down to do a bunker mission. You travel there, land the ship, and are ready to gear up only to realize you forgot the good weapons and only have a pistol on your ship's inventory. You now have a choice before you. To abort the mission for now, to go all the way back to a station to pick up the weapons from your storage, or to buy something, or just try the mission anyway with just the pistol. You decide to go ahead and try the mission with just a pistol and hope you can upgrade or find more weapons as you kill targets. You were just presented with a gameplay choice based on your actions to succeed or fail will be up to you now because you have already embarked on the mission and the outcome will now be different. Your decisions matter and your preparedness or lack thereof will often make or break your play session and will also add a little bit of variety and unpredictability. So let's talk about one more thing you need to know with ship storage and that is larger ship components. Remember earlier when I said that ship size can matter with storage. So most ships offer up quite a bit of storage options for things like armor, guns, etc. But when it comes to ship components, the size can shrink fast and your ship can only carry realistic items. So for example, if you flew your little Aurora down to Microtech to stop off at center mass to purchase size 4 guns for your Taurus, that little ship will not be able to accept those guns if you were thinking of transporting them to the station where you stored your Taurus. You'll need to take a bigger ship that can store those size of components with you if you're wanting to transfer the weapons from one place to 
to another. Now, me personally, I just take the ship I want to upgrade to the location where I will be buying the components so I can just upgrade them there. The one little bit of a cheat with ships and being able to upgrade them is that you're able to transfer your ships through the claiming process at the terminals to whichever station you are at. So if you want to upgrade the Taurus while you're on Microtech, but you've left it at Bajini Point, you are able to just file a claim and wait out the time for it to appear there, and then you can upgrade those parts once the claim is done. Alright, so now let's talk about the last form of storage, and that is smaller boxes that can be carried either by hand or with a tractor beam. Now, if you go to any cargo store, which are located on those decks through the interstation elevators at Pagini Point, Everest Harbor, or Port Tressler, these cargo areas have little shops where you can purchase a small box that you can then take with you on your ship or out on planets, caves, or bunkers to allow you to carry a little more items than just what's on your personal inventory. Remember that while you're away from your ship, that you do not have access to that vast inventory so if you're in a cave or bunker and have lots of loot you can collect now you'll have to get that loot back to your ship that's where these small boxes can come into play, but honestly, they don't hold much. There is a bit of a cheat currently in game where you can create a larger box by putting something large like a backpack inside of your ship. Then you kill yourself and grab another ship to fly out to where your other ship was and then blowing up that ship so the backpack inside creates a larger storage box because that's all that will remain and then you can track your beam that larger storage box onto your ship and then go off on your adventures carrying this larger box with you to store items. But that's a bit of work. I mean, that sounded like a bit of work, right? especially for a box that could just end up bugging out or despawn. The simplest thing would be for the cargo areas to sell this larger box, but that's neither here nor there or my decision. Regardless, this smaller form of storage is another option, and I just think it's a workaround until we have more tools in the game, but if you own the mule, you can put six of these little small boxes on the sides and then drive up to the cave entrance or bunker entrance and make shorter trips. However, while testing this out myself, if the terrain is too bumpy, the boxes can fly out of the mule so you'd have to stop and pick them up and put them back in or drive really slowly. Another option is to use a Ursa rover to transport items from the bunker back to where your ship is parked. And yet another option for now, which is what people are currently doing the most, is to use a tractor beam to take the items or bodies and gravitate them one at a time back to your ship. I don't mind using these methods, but if CIG would just allow those bigger crates to be purchasable, you could then tractor beam them into the cave or bunker, loot everything, then tractor the single box out to your waiting mule, and then go back to your ship. A better workaround is certainly in our future and I suspect with the 318 cargo refactor something similar if not this exact same thing will be implemented. So those are the various types of storage currently in game. Now let me see if I can answer some of the most basic questions I've seen concerning inventory. Number one, will I lose my inventory if my ship blows up? Yes, if your ship blows up, anything on it or on your body will be gone. Sometimes items that were on your person will somehow be available on you after you die, but that's rare and could be an issue that is worked out, so don't expect it. Number two, you said local inventory is the safest. Why? All right, so local inventory is safest because you are leaving it behind. Anything on you or your ship is perishable because you and your ship are perishable. Number three, if I leave something in my local inventory, will it still be there after I log off the game and play at a later time? The answer to this is yes, nine times out of 10, you will not lose your items after logging out. There's one exception to this though. Let's say you land on a station and transfer your items from your ship and into the local inventory of that station, and then a 30K happens where the server crashes. If the backup of the server did not take effect, then it is possible your stuff could be lost or it could still be on your ship or rolled back. It's rare and actually a lot less than a 10% chance, but still, I wanted to make it known. Number four, I just reset my character and none of my items are on my ship or at my various local inventories around the verse. Did I lose my stuff? Most likely not. When you do a character reset, you might not lose your money or items, but they do all get stripped from these locations and are back on the home planet you were at when you logged back in. So go back there and check the local inventory and most of your stuff should be there. Number five, I just reset my character and my ships uh, all have their default items. Do I need to buy them all over again? Most likely not. They should all be at the home planet where you chose to log in at within that local inventory. All of your ships should be stored there as well, so it makes redoing the loadouts easier because the parts and ships are all there together. Number six, is there a transfer all button? My wrist aches from all this drag and dropping. Unfortunately, as of this video, not yet. The devs are very much aware that they need easier inventory management and are working on fixing this issue. A little tip is to select a filter not used as much, such as like vehicles, so you can just drag and drop within it without worrying about accidentally swapping items, so you're dragging into a blank window. And if your wrist hurts from all this, sorry, for now just wear a wrist brace. 
Number seven, is there an easy way to buy stuff at a shop and have it go directly into your ship? Yes, as of 317.1, we were given the option to change the filter in the upper left corner to send stuff straight to the ship, which is a nice little feature. Number eight, is there a place you can see what items are at what station? I know I own a certain piece, but can't remember which local inventory on what station I left it at. Yes, if you go into your Moby Glass panel and select this icon, it opens up knickknacks, where you can select the various places listed and it will show you what items are on what planet, station, or outpost. It's not perfect and could use a search, but it works. Number nine, any tips on handling the inventory system? All right, I like to store specific things at specific stations. So for instance, I like to store weapons and armor at Port Tressler because I do more bunker FPS missions on Microtech. Or I store heat armor and drinks and food at Hurrell too because I'll do rock mining in that system. Spread the love when it comes to leaving items at various stations so you have things that might not be available at those stations. I'm constantly buying extra items and taking them with me and storing them around the verse. Number 10. If I leave items in the local storage of mining outpost, will they still be there if I fly to them later? Yes. The beauty of the inventory system is that leaving items within those local inventories means they will be there later. I always leave healing guns or food or drink at those mining outposts just in case I need to swoop down, get a quick bite to eat or drink in an emergency. You can land on the pads and not even leave your ship to access the local inventory there to drink and then go back out about your business. Alright, so that's going to do it for this guide. It's a little bit longer than usual and I'm sorry but this was a lot to cover. I hope I answered all of your inventory questions and explained the inventory system in a good enough manner so you know the basics and understand the planning it will take to be more successful. I've noticed that most of my failures in the game are not due to bugs or game crashes but my own lack of preparedness. I for one enjoy the strategy element of the inventory system and wouldn't have it any other way except for maybe just making it easier to sort and transfer items, which I know is coming. Anyway, remember to be kind to your fellow gamer, leave bottled water in every local inventory you visit, and stay positive citizens. Thank you.